మనకు ఇప్పుడు కొత్త కొత్త సిలబస్లో నుంచి మనం ఇప్పుడు ఇప్పటి నుంచి మనము లెసన్ అనేది చేసుకుంటున్నాం అనమాట ఎస్ ఎస్ మన ఫస్ట్ యూనిట్ వచ్చేసి నంబర్ సిస్టమ్ నంబర్ సిస్టమ్ అనమాట ఆల్రెడీ వీ నో దట్ వాట్ ఆర్ నంబర్స్ ద నంబర్ సిస్టమ్ వాట్ ఆర్ నంబర్స్ ద నంబర్స్ What are numbers? The numbers. What are the numbers? What are numbers? The numbers which we used to count people, things and etc. or call numbers. what are those which we what we used to count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and so on. these are the numbers we used to count people or things or any we start from 1 so these are formed by naturally so these are all called as natural numbers natural numbers okay what are natural numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and so on are natural numbers right the set of natural numbers the set of natural numbers n is 1 2 3 4 5 and so right the set of natural numbers is denoted by n because they are naturally formed so first letter is n so the natural numbers are denoted by n right next when we would add and include zero to the natural numbers then the collection of numbers is called as whole numbers so the whole numbers are Zero, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. So, the set of whole numbers. W. The set of whole numbers is denoted by W because the starting letter is W. set of whole numbers is 0 1 2 3 4 and so on right now the numbers the whole numbers whole numbers included with the negative numbers negative numbers or integers 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 are denoted by z because z this is taken from a german word jale okay so that's why the integers denoted by z next quotient numbers we are already learned in the previous classes so 
मरी मन को अंत बेसिक क्वेश्चन नंबर आलो नोन रेशनल नंबर सो द नंबर विच बी रेप्रजेंट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पी बै क्यू P comma Q belongs to Z or uh, integers, and K never equals to zero. Then the numbers given in the form of P by Q are rational numbers or quotient numbers. Okay. The numbers which we can Right in the form of P by Q or quotient numbers. Right. Quotient numbers. The set of quotient numbers is p by q p comma q belongs to Z and q not equal to zero. For example, what are the quotient numbers? Two by three is a quotient number. Five by nine is a quotient number. Six by Five is a quotient number. Zero point one two is a quotient number. Zero is a quotient number. Minus one is a quotient number, and two is a quotient number, and so on. These are the quotient numbers. And next, here are some example problems. Yes, a very whole number is a natural number. Okay, what are whole numbers? Whole numbers are zero, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. But natural numbers are one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Here. They said that a very whole number, a very whole number, zero, one, two, three, four, natural numbers. All are natural numbers except zero is natural number. So uh, here W belongs to, sorry, zero belongs to W, whole number. But uh, zero is not a natural number. So therefore, the given statement is. False. Right. Next second one. Every integer is a rational number. Yes. Every integer. Integers are. Integers are negative numbers. Okay. These all can be written as p by q, written in the form of p by q. So, if very integer is can be written in the form of p by q. So, the number which we represent in the form of p by q, then those are rational numbers. So, the given statement is true. Next third one. Every 
rational number is an integer. Every rational number, integers, integers, what are integers? Minus 3 is an integer, minus 9 is an integer, 10 is an integer, 100 is an integer. But, every rational number, what are the examples for rational number? 4 by 9, 8 by 2, 9 by 7, these are rational numbers. So, are uh, these both are same? No. So, this is false. Right, now example 2. Find 5 rational numbers between 1 and 2. So, 1 between 1 and 2, we have to write 5 rationals, rational numbers. So, 5 rational numbers after 5, which comes 6. So, we can change this into the form of P by Q. That is 1 by 1, 2 by 1 and multiply 5 rational numbers. So, we have to multiply 6 by 6. That is 1 into 6 is 6, 1 into 6 is 6. Here, 2 by 1 into 6 by 6 is 12 by 6. So, in between these 6 by 5, which comes after that 7 by 5, seven, sorry, 6, 7 by 6, 8 by 6, 9 by 6, 10 by 6, 11 by 6. And then 12 by 6. Okay. In between 6 by 6 and 12 by 6, there are how many numbers? There are 5 numbers. So, therefore, so between 1 and 2, there are 7 by 6, 8 by 6, 9 by 6, 10 by 6, 11 by 6, and then so 2. So, these are the 5 rational numbers between 1 and 2. Okay? Right. This is the introduction part of uh, uh, our number system. Next exercise tomorrow will be in the next session. We will complete the exercise part. Okay? Okay. Thanks for watching. Keep watching Kranthi Mess YouTube channel.